see him over there, mate. We'll chuck the rock long nets around then. You're on candy camera too, mate. The camera's going. Yeah. yeah. So you'll be able to see yourself on YouTube. Really? Yep. Oh. One first. We'll put the long net right around this one. All right, guys. We've got a burrow just in here. Um, I'm out here with the, the owner, who's Bryce. Yeah. And his son. What's his name again? Aiden. Aiden. Uh, there's a bit of a burrow in here, we're going to put a long net all the way around and we'll see how we go. We did do a couple uh, back further, just a couple of single holers, didn't do any good. Uh, but I did see a few in here this morning, seen a few foxes with the spotlight this morning as well. So there is one or two around. Get back to you once I get... Alright guys, we've got the, uh, the long net set up now. We didn't quite have enough to go all the way around. I do have more in the car, but we're not going to bother for five yards. Um, I've got the collar on, on Sissy. So we'll put her down first. Pretty sandy ground here. If they get stuck, we're definitely going to be able to dig them out. Which I'm happy about. I might actually start her here. out of that burrow um, they ran out and straight out, straight across into another burrow but the dogs had a bit of a run but they didn't uh, they didn't catch any so what we're going to do now is there's a there's a bit of a big burrow in this in these reeds over here so I'm going to pack these long nets up and uh, we're going to put one around there and I'm going to drop willow into that into that hole and we should get a couple out there at least all right guys what we did we, we in all these reeds over here we've got the long net going all the way around there's another burrow over here and you can see we put a few purse nets on and a few purse nets over here I've got Willow down at the moment she's got the collar on He's right there. Good girl. Mine, mine. Cast mine. Good girl. Mine's him. It's a big rabbit. She got it out eventually. Move. Move. We'll go back down. Still no, it's not, mate. Yeah. No, it's just, just, yeah. No, it's just, yeah, just nerves, mate. I kill, kill them quick, mate. It's humanely as I can. That's a big rabbit. Takes her a while, but she's got it. You're stubborn. front mainly. She worked hard to get that out mate. She knows it came out here. No, they, they just want to get out and work, mate. They know what they, they once you put them in that box, they know. They, they, they actually enjoy it. They, lo they like to work. Like the dogs. Give a dog a job, give a ferret a job, they want something to do. Yep. Come on, we're going to stick you over there now. We're going to put her in here now. Alright guys, we've, like I said, we've put the long net all the way around here. 
we didn't go through here because of all the sticks and stuff so if they go through the fence there we're going to lose them but there's a big burrow in here we're going to stick willow, willow in here and see how we go Willow, she's all the way over here now. Just pick her up mate, she won't hurt you. You see any holes there, just throw it down one. Much water in a dam? Uh, they've all got a little bit in them. Okay. So we've got five dams all up. Well, the weather's the wet weather's coming, so. Yeah, so we've, we've done pretty well. I haven't pumped too much out of it. That one just over there, I've pumped it pretty out of it. It got real hot that week, where it was like 40 degrees, 30, 39, 40, or something. The garden was looking pretty ordinary. Well good day guys, I've come out to a new property today, haven't been here before, I just uh, caught up with Neil who's the owner, he lives in the place over there, um, he's pointing me in the right direction um, and there's a few different burrows and they're spread out all over the place so I've just come out here to have a bit of a look at the ones he said are out here just to see if there's any, any activity in the burrows, see if the dog marks it up, looks like there's a couple here, not in that hole though. Looks like they're just starting to dig that one. Let's have a bit of a look around. He said they're on the back side of it, so. But it's a pretty big property, and the rabbits are spread out. And apparently, there's a big bush down the back, a big box storm bush, which is this stuff here. Let's <coughs> marking that up. Another hole there. Anyway, I thought I'd come out and start up this back corner feel about all right I might use a few purse nets on the on this I don't really seem big enough to warrant anything else just uh, setting up a few a few of the holes here guys um, to you Phil I did, did bring that um, that doe out with me today the pregnant one mate just I put the collar on her so I don't lose her not that I lose many but Anyway, we'll just see how she goes, mate. There's a few smaller burrows here, which I wanted to start, which is one of the main reasons I started out here. And that's her. Gee, she's a beauty, isn't she? Absolute ripper. Anyway, we'll see if she works. So here we go. Oh, she's into it. That's good.
right there, which is down deep, mate. Get him! Get him! Good girl! Good girl! Get him! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! That's a good girl! Good girl! On spirit food. Good girl. Ferret's killing them babies, mate. That one was covered in blood. There's another one. Jeez, it's full of kids. Fucking stop claw. Just seen S Sally come up there. That's what I called that new ferret. Long tall Sally, so I called her Sally. Just seen her come up there, so she's definitely working. She's killing these little ones and chasing them out. Willow down as well just to give him a bit of a hurry up because there's probably about half a dozen of these in there. There you go, it's starting to come out now. Yeah. Ah, she works good. Oh yeah, mate, she's on to him. Look at that. No worries with her, mate. There's Willow. Oh, well, that's good. She works. Works good. Well, that's good to see. All right, guys, we got this this one set up. It's just a bit of a shed burrow. I'm just documenting it. That's Neil. Hey Say good day. Um, he's the, uh, the property owner. So we got we got a couple of holes here. There's a big one in there, in there that I can't get to in the box storm. So I cut it back and we got a few in and around here. We're about to drop in Kara. We've got her collared up because she could go anywhere in here and we'll see how we go and I've set the, uh, the locator over on that cage over there. So if she comes out that side it'll go off. All right let's see how we go. Yeah. We'll try and push them that way. Dog tore one of its stop pads off as well. But it's common this time of year, mate. They do it all the time. But she's pretty tough, mate. The stop pads here. It's, yeah, she's not even. She'll limp a bit for a few days and take about a week to recover. This time of year, they're doing it all the time. Ground's so hard. 
hear something going on. There we go. Get him! Good girl, Zip. Good girl, Zip. Bit of a tip burrow here guys, yeah. not many um, holes that actually go in. We've put down a few purse nits, we'll see what happens. Alright guys, he, um, Neil and his mate just put me on uh, to a burrow that's down here, to reckon it should be able to get a few out of it. We did all the hard ones first, the ones where I knew that we probably wouldn't get too many, um, and I left these sort of big ones till last. There, there's a big burrow on on some bushes right out there in that paddock, and, and I'll leave that till last. I might not even get to it today, it's starting to get warm already. Um, but that's okay, I'll always leave the best till last. You always come back to it and get a nice fresh start on it. We'll have a bit of a look here. What they what they reckon? If it's a, if it's what they say it is, I'll put the long nets all around it where these logs are. They said, and then I'll drop a few ferrets in. There's definitely a burrow in there. That's for sure. Ferrets get stuck in here. I'll never get them out. There's all rocks under the ground, and, and it is rock solid. Anyway, let's, let's have a bit of a look. Come on, zip. I got the long net going around, wasn't that much, it was about 60 yards of long net. Uh, we'll see how we go. I'll use one ferret to start off with, one that needs a bit of work, which is Cara, she hasn't done a lot the last couple of days. And if she um, can't push them out of here, or for whatever reason, I'll have to have another one. I'll stick Willow in if I need be. I did work that new ferret I got and she sort of went okay. I'll use this rock here to hold that net down. Okay. Alright guys, I'm really pushed for time, it's already starting to warm up, it's probably about 22, 23 degrees, feel something like that. <coughs> so, there's a burrow here, I've already netted this one up. And by the time I pull all that down and set it up over here, it's going to be too warm, so I'm going to quickly throw a couple of ferrets through here and hopefully they'll try and run to this burrow, which is about the nearest one. That's the plan of attack anyway guys. We could get lucky. And uh, worst comes to worst, Zip might get a bit of a run. But she did rip one of her stop pads, so she's a little bit sore. Tore one of her stop pads almost right off. That happens a lot in summer to these running dogs. So let's see what happens. A bit of luck they'll run straight for that burrow. And if they do, they'll get caught in a long net. Really getting hot now. I can feel the ferrets are warm.
Oh, 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 she just missed it. Means will I? It's probably about the only one that was in there too. Judging by the way she's acting. Guys, just following Neil out to uh, another couple. He's just showing me around the property. It's getting too hot to do any more, so we, I've packed up now. But uh, just, I'm going to come back early in next week. So he's just going to show me where a few of these burrows are, so that when I come back, I can uh, I don't have to mess around. I'll be able to have a plan of attack, and I'll know what I'm doing and where to, where I'm going. So it was nice of him to show me around. And, He's a really nice guy, and uh, he's got a mate that lives there with him, and uh, he's a nice bloke too. So he's just showing me where this burrow is, and then we're going to go across and have a look at the ones out here. Apparently they're a bit bigger. Anyway, get back to this. I'm just heading out, following him out to another part of the property now. Well, it's, we did stop back over this way and had a look at a few burrows for next time. And I'm just going to shoot over here and have a look at these. See so there's a few hares in this paddock and plenty of kangaroos but I don't, I don't chase kangaroos. But, um, the hares is another story. Hopefully we'll get onto some next time we come. Too hot at the moment though to run the dog. Have a look. Yeah, I've seen them running, running there. Yeah. Yeah, this is a go, mate. You just put the long net all around this, and then chuck in all, all your ferrets. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, this is this is a go. They love this, they love this stuff, don't they? Because I'll tell you what, if they get stuck, you never dig them out, that's for sure. This and this will be full of rabbits, mate. This is where they are, alright. Thirty, thirty. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing left of it. It was just a trail of fur where you can see the bullet went fucking through it. Yeah. yeah, the dog knows they're here too. They're in there, aren't they, Gil? Yeah, I know. <laughs> 